Howdy, today we're going to have a look at the CSS aspect ratio property. It's currently behind some experimental flags, but you can keep up to date with browser compatibility in the link below. Let's start by adding an image to our page. We're going to use cat.jpg. And then let's add some styles. We're going to set the width to 50 vmin. By default, our image is using the aspect ratio dictated by its intrinsic sizing. I know that this image is 1920 by 1080, which means it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But what if we want to define a different aspect ratio for our image? Well, we can with the aspect ratio property. To define a ratio, provide a width, followed by a slash, and then a height. We can see that the aspect ratio of our image is now 1 by 1. We can make our image look a little bit better by using object fit cover, and then we can experiment with different aspect ratio. For example, four by one or four by three, or we can just return it to 16 by nine. We don't need to define a width or height for aspect ratio to work, but it will work with either a width or height. However, if we provide both a width and height, then the aspect ratio will be ignored. And that's it. That's how to use CSS aspect ratio. So in review, we can use the aspect ratio property to define an aspect ratio for elements. We don't need to provide a width or a height, but if we do, we should only provide one or the other for the aspect ratio to be respected. Have a play with the demo. Let me know what you think, and you can keep up to date with the browser compatibility of this property in the link below. Stay awesome, people.